Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Real Japanese Studio. My name is Atsu and I'm going to be your tutor today as well. So, thank you for watching my videos on my channel. Uh, every time you visit the YouTube, and I think some of you have just started learning Japanese and trying to know a lot of stuff, especially regarding the casual or colloquial expressions use among Japanese people. I think that it, the, all of my videos I posted on YouTube are going to be very helpful in getting used to and comprehending the colloquial expressions and especially modern expressions. So and I I would like to also I'm very grateful for those who've already purchased my textbook and using it uh, to learn Japanese or supplementing your uh, materials you're using as a core core textbook I think you know combining the textbook in the market and the textbook I'm selling together will generate a kind of great efficiency and effectiveness in learning Japanese so if you haven't gotten my textbook please make a purchase that is very cheap and then let's join so today's word is going to be 11th word uh, called imifu Imifu, okay. Imifu means like it doesn't make sense or something, okay. So actually now I don't really use this word imifu in my real in the conversation in reality because kind of this word is most likely the most frequently used among those in their maybe teenage. So. I think it's basically used among teenagers and I'm now 22 now already and so I don't use it anymore but I sometimes use this word when chatting because in I mean chatting on the internet because basically you want to abbreviate abridge every single word as much as possible in order to you know, speed up your typing right so I often use imifu in chatting, but not in the real chatting with my friend. Okay, so if you are very young, like in your teen, if you are teen, if you are a teenager, I think it's very effective. But if you are in your twenties or thirties now, I think it's effective in like communicating on the internet, but not in the real conversation. Now you may hear like somebody using this word, for instance, in Tokyo or somewhere in Japan still. So this is not old, this is very modern and I used to use but this actually you know chooses the age of you. So I'd like to give you a definition, very clear cut definition, uh, which is it doesn't make sense or can't understand. And I also want to explain the meaning. So I'm gonna read this explanation. Imifu is an abbreviation of imi fume, okay, which literally means the meaning. Imi, meaning, is uncertain, uncertain fume here, or it doesn't make sense. So I remember yesterday my student at my cram school, I was screaming konomonda imifu, okay, because this was written like one year ago, so I was still teaching at the cram school, English or Japanese or mathematics, whatever, I was teaching at a cram school in Japan one year ago, and okay, it says like, Konomonda imifu. Okay, this is a kind of remark okay, given by my student. My student was solving very difficult mathematic mathematical questions, and she in the end said, "Konomonda cho imifu." Konomonda imifu, which means this doesn't make sense. It's freaking difficult. What the fuck is this? Or something like that. Even though she said in more polite way. So, but anyways. Yeah, it's still used. And she was, by the way, a junior high student. Uh, maybe she was, at the time, 15 years old. So, yeah, this is a, I think, good example in which imifu is used. Okay, it's a great context. And the problem was so difficult for her, she didn't understand what it meant. Okay, so that's what it meant. So, so imifu me basically means it doesn't make sense. Imi wakanai toka, imi fume toka. Okay, okay. You, you understand toka, right? Because I've just told you. 
okay, in the last video. So, like you can use imi wakannai to ka, imi fume to ka, imi fu to ka, okay, you can use uh, in a variety of ways, okay, but uh, imi fu is an abbreviation of imi wakannai or imi fume, okay. So, I would like to give you some examples. For instance, the first example says, kono mondai imi fu. Okay, kono mondai, kono means this, and mondai means this problem. So, kono mondai imi fu, I can't understand this problem. Okay, that's the first example. So, the second example is kono gazo imi fu. For instance, this image is hard to understand. Like, for instance, you are texting with your girlfriend or boyfriend, and you are, you know, giving a picture of something which looks very, very weird. For instance, a, like a naked man, na naked man eating, like, eating rice like crazy or something like that, it doesn't make sense, right? So you would say like, kono gazo imifu, what, is, what does that mean? Okay, kono gazo, this gazo means picture, especially the picture that is in an electronic form, so kono gazo imifu, like, what the fuck is this picture? It doesn't make sense, the hell, okay? And the third one, third example is like, kare ni natto to ka imifu, okay? Here, toka is again, news, toka, Okay, toka in this case doesn't mean that the person is taking out an example out of your brain, but this is emphasizing your evaluation. Here, the evaluation is imifu, doesn't make sense. Okay, so what's being evaluated? Natto, kare ni natto. Okay, so kare ni natto, what does that mean? Okay, you know curry, right? And curry, not an Indian curry especially, here uh, it means a Japanese curry because people in Japan love Japanese curry. But some people, I've tried, but I don't like it. But some people put natto, okay, natto is also a famous food, uh, which is called uh, fermented beans in English. And then some people like put fermented beans in natto and mix it and eat it with rice. But I don't understand it because it didn't taste actually good even though some people some people's taste buds are attracted by that kind of slimy texture I don't know but kare ni natto means like you put natto on the top of curry so kare ni natto toka imifu so the putting fermented beans on the top of curry doesn't make sense it's not understandable so that is why it's called like kare natto to kaimifu. Okay, kare natto to kaimifu. Okay, it's so fast. Am I pronouncing? Am I reading the sentence so fast? But it's still written there. So just read the textbook and then listen to what I say because this is a natural speed, and then get used to it. I think that is very important. Okay, so that's all for today. So if you got like any questions, please. A seminar message but since I've been very hectic these days it might take you know a lot of time to reply to you but I try to answer as many questions as possible so thank you for watching this video and see you next time bye